knows a lot about the science stuff, Professor Dave explains. We've examined a number of highly reactive species, such as carbenes and nitrines. So let's check out one more, arines. Arines utilize the same prefix as arenes or aryl groups, which refers to simple aromatic structures, as well as the suffix ein, because they are often written as alkynes with a triple bond. Let's learn about this interesting functional group now. Though we may be more familiar with Nobel Prize winning German chemist Georg Wittig from the reagent and accompanying reaction that bears his name, he discovered some other interesting chemistry as well. In 1940, Wittig was examining the following reaction involving fluorobenzene and phenyllithium. Phenyllithium is a very strong base, strong enough to get this alpha proton to produce the carb anion. This can be followed by beta elimination of fluoride, which in the presence of another equivalent of phenylithium, produces this biphenyl compound, with the carbanion coordinated to lithium. What Wittig did was to describe the intermediate as benzene, meaning a benzene ring with a triple bond. Because alkynes are linear species, a true triple bond is unable to form, given the torsional strain that would be generated by the benzene ring. So the intermediate could also be represented by this zwitter ion, or a diradical. But some triple bond character is still present, and we will typically represent the intermediate that way. The nature of this intermediate was confirmed by American chemist John Roberts in 1953. Interested in demonstrating that this type of substitution went through a benzene intermediate rather than direct substitution, he did some experiments utilizing isotopic labeling. Starting with chlorobenzene labeled with C14 at the ipso position, meaning the carbon that bears the chlorine atom, a substitution was carried out with sodamid. If substitution was direct, we would expect only one product, but instead a mixture was produced, with 50% of the resulting aniline labeled with C14 at the ipso position, and 50% at the vicinal or ortho position. This demonstrates that there must be a symmetrical intermediate, and that is the benzene. So let's first examine methods of producing arines. We have already learned one, where a halobenzene is treated with a strong, poorly nucleophilic base, resulting in carbanion formation and subsequent beta elimination. Another method involves a dihalobenzene, which can be monometallated using something like N-butyllithium. Elimination can then occur just as we've seen, in this case producing the lithium halide. For another method, we can start with this compound called anthranilic acid, which can be treated with nitrous acid and then diazotized and decarboxylated to again produce benzene. And lastly, a similar desilylative elimination can be used, where a fluoride ion attacks silicon to generate an extremely strong silicon-fluorine bond, which allows, again, for elimination, in this case of this triflate, a leaving group derivative. As we can see, the commonality between these approaches is that a carbanion is somehow produced adjacent to a leaving group, which is what allows for elimination to take place. Now, arines like benzene are far too reactive to be isolated, even at very low temperatures. They are typically formed and then reacted in situ, such as the case where the base that generates the carbanion is also the nucleophile that attacks once benzene has formed, as is seen here with the production of aniline from bromobenzene. Now, to get a little more interesting, let's examine substituted benzynes. In such a case, we will have two possible regioisomeric products. Let's say that the substituent is adjacent to the triple bond. If the substituent is electron withdrawing, the meta product will be strongly favored because the intermediate negative charge is better stabilized by the electron withdrawing group if it is adjacent. 
but if the substituent is electron donating, there is no strongly directing effect, and we get a mixture of regioisomers. If the substituent is one carbon farther removed from the triple bond, this also diminishes the directing ability, and a mixture of products will be produced. Finally, we should mention that in the absence of nucleophiles, such as with the above examples, arines tend to undergo cycloaddition reactions. For example, if benzene has nothing to react with, it will quickly dimerize to produce the following structure. In addition, benzene is also quite useful as a dienophile in a Diels-Alder reaction, due to the strain in its structure. Here it is reacting with this activated diene to produce this compound, which has a number of synthetic applications. And that's a bit of information on arines. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.